And welcome to episode 48 of On the Dawn Trail. This is my Final Fantasy XIV MSQ guide and playthrough. We're working our way through Shadowbringers. I brought back Alfino and Alize, and we're on to find our other friends. So, Crystal Exarch, what are we doing? The Light Wardens. Here we go, baby. Back at it. And so you return. Have you gained a better understanding of the crisis now faced by the first? Better is not the word I would use. Some lands may have been spared the flood, but the survivors live only to suffer. There seems no end to the horrors inflicted by the Sin Eaters. Indeed. Those abominations are a calamity in their own right. And I can well imagine how hopeless the task of eradicating them must seem to you. But after countless battles and untold sacrifice, we have identified a potential weakness. Sin Eaters are drawn to serve the strongest of their kind, a class of creature we call Light Wardens. And from what we have been able to ascertain, only a handful of these entities exist. Just as an ant colony will perish in the absence of its queen, we believe that the death of a Light Warden will cause the lesser creatures within its sphere of influence to disperse. I have a feeling Yulmul might have something to say about any concerted action we take against these monsters. Vorthra's command over the Sin Eaters is integral to Yulmoran society. In seeming to guarantee his people's safety, it guarantees their obedience. He will not take kindly to us depriving him of such useful allies. Agreed. Thus we will need to occupy or otherwise divert his forces whilst we proceed with the business of eliminating the Wardens. Until we have done so, all other considerations must be set aside if we are to forestall the Eighth Umbral Calamity. Hmm. Are you sure that eliminating the Wardens will be enough? I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> I'm pretty dumb here. Neddy? Your uncertainty is understandable, given the circumstances. Perhaps a more detailed explanation is in order. To begin at the beginning, then. Oh. In the ancient past, a single star was divided into 14 worlds. This is the source, your home. These others are the 13 shards, in whose number we find the first. Though physically separate, they retain a connection to each other and with the source especially. Now, let us assume that a given element in one of the shards attains abnormal ascendancy. Just as water will flow from the highest point to the lowest, the excess energy will begin trickling into the source. And such an influx of ether will of course exert a palpable influence. If the element in question were fire, then drought and wildfires might ensue. If it were ice, one might expect the weather to turn bitterly cold. As ether continues to pour in, such phenomena will become more and more extreme, until eventually, a single, untimely event triggers a disaster which cracks the barrier dividing the two worlds. What was once a trickle now becomes a deluge, sweeping the shard along to be rejoined with the source. At the same time, the element which held sway in the shard is unleashed in full, its energies amplifying the original disaster to truly catastrophic proportions. An earthquake thus magnified might strike 
with enough force to shatter continents. A tidal wave might swell to a size capable of drowning entire nations. These devastating events are what we refer to as umbral calamities. Seven times has a calamity befallen the source. Seven times has a shard been absorbed. At present, the light-drowned realm of the first stands perilously close to meeting the conditions for a rejoining. It is the Sin Eaters who are to blame for the light's continued dominance. In addition to attracting their lesser kin, the Light Wardens I mentioned earlier radiate ether, saturating every corner of their territory with light. Even here in the flood-spared region of Norvrant, their influence is strong enough to banish night from the sky. Thus, if we are to restore balance to the first and head off a potential calamity, it is imperative that we put each and every Light Warden to the sword. We've been doing our best to take the fight to the enemy ever since we first heard the Exarch's explanation. Though we have yet to claim any meaningful victories if truth be told, Apart from being confoundingly elusive, the Light Wardens possess a troublesome quality which compelled us to delay our plans until such time as you arrived. Forgive the interruption, my lord, but Holminster Switch is requesting reinforcements. They say the Sin Eaters are attacking in force and the village could soon be overrun. Alert the guard. We should be prepared in case the fighting reaches the Crystarium. You have command of our forces in the field, Captain, but hold off on entering the town until I arrive. That goes for Alphano and Alize as well. My lord. Pray, lend us your strength. Such a fight will provide you with far greater insight than any explanation I could offer. Mm-hmm. Let him blow this, man. Holman's to switch. Too easy. Oh, that was a good explanation, though. Heesh. Holman's to switch is in the north of Lakeland, so we had best make haste with our preparations. In fact, meet me outside the Crystarium at the crossroads northwest of the Ancestor Gate, and I shall lead you there myself. Yes. Eto speak with the XR. Oh, okay, I gotta get out of the city. I don't think I have anywhere outside the city, to be honest. I guess we just go to the plaza and then run our way out. Yeah. Narotanda. These guys don't seem very bothered. He's kind of hanging out, you know. I thought this would be a bigger deal. Alright. It's Ooh, or I can go up and get that etherite. We'll stay on task. Stupid chocobo so slow! Hey man, buddy. 
Hop to it. Hop trap to it. Yeah, see, look, this, this guy's not even, he's, he's not even bothered. He's just like, I'm here. Ooh, almost forgot about these guys. That's right, there's also eat the currents I need to once more collect. I should check to see if there are any besides this one that are close. To the north, which I'm not headed towards, so. Let's see. Mm, 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 did I already check this? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Amore and Calusa. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So. There's only a, a little amount, meaning I don't have to run around forever and find these things. Thank goodness. Where the heck are you? Oh, there you are. Standing in the middle of the road. He's just standing there. Menacingly. Hey, buddy, let's do this. I'm ready. All set? If we follow this road north, we will arrive at the northern northern staging point. The village itself lies not far beyond. Quickly now. <laughs> Proceeds to walk. <laughs> That's way the heck up there, bro. You're joking. Well, it looks like I'm going to go hang out at a uh, Fort Job first. And then I need to also head north for this ether currents, which is probably near Fort Job. Therefore, I will pick it up. I like the purple color, yo. That's some, as they say, good stuff. Let's get in here. Let's go. <laughs> Leveling up just by discovering things? OP. Fourth job. Ooh, gemstone trader, huh? I could talk to them and unlock that, but I'm not gonna be bust about gemstones. Yes. Okay. Northwood. I could talk to the Chocobo guy though. Wherever he may be. Up there? Strange. I guess it is up there. Well, I guess I'm not talking to him then. A little more north. Hopefully not up there. That'd be annoying. What the heck is that? The Bulbasaur. Oh, there. Look, look at that. Right from my face. Right along the road. It doesn't get much clearer than that. Up around here. Give it the old. Ah. I bet the other one's gonna be super west. Let's see. Yep, way to the west. Yep, that's not me right now. Not right here, partner. Not right here. Gray Draco. Ooh, Slither Boy. It's one of those things from the trailer. White gremlins. Weary traveler. What's there? Spoiler alert, I'm about to unlock a dungeon. And I if I recall, this is the first dungeon that uses the uh that used the duty support system. It's actually called the trust system, but to go in with a party of NPCs as opposed to actual players shadowbringers was the first expansion to implement that and there they are my squad home it's a switch is past these gates and through the woods is not exactly a near neighborhood to the Castrarium, but as we occupy the same region, we have built up something of a cooperative relationship. What can we expect inside, Captain? The town is beset by a swarm unlike any we have seen in recent years. We did our best to evacuate, to evacuate the villagers, but as many as half remain. Judging by the number of eaters present, we have good reason to believe that a light warden leads the attack. <gasps> How convenient! It seems we'll have a chance to stay a warden sooner than we expected. <laughs> one does not simply slay a warden. Has no one told you what happens if you defeat one of those fiends? 
They hold more light inside than inside them than all of their underlings put together. Uh-oh. It can be struck down, aye, but its essence won't dissipate like the weaker kind. Vile ether will billow outwards and develop the nearest living being, a reckless young swordsman, swordswoman perhaps, and turn her into a brand new warden. Hmm. Ah, we can leave that particular quandary to us. I must ask that the guards stand down and allow us to engage this leader of eaters alone. Concentrate on the survivors. We must save every life we can. But what if... Understood, my lord. As captain of the guard, however, I will not watch you brave such danger without an escort from our ranks. I insist that I go with you. Very well. Then our warden slaying party shall include myself, the Levelures, Captain Lena, and last but not least, the man himself. It's your boy. My new duds, looking pretty slick. A formidable group indeed. Into Holminster we go. Once we reach the Light Warden, do not hold back. We strike to kill. Yeah, baby. Whole Minster Switch now accessible. The instanced dungeons encountered in subsequent main scenario quests can be completed solo alongside a supporting group of party a supporting party of NPCs. See, told you. To make use of this feature, simply speak with one of your NPC companions near the entrance of the instance and select the option to form a party. Alternative, alternately, you can also select duty support under duty from the main menu or interact with this instance, instance entrance itself. When forming a party, you will need to follow the same role restrictions imposed when using the duty finder. Alternatively, you can find party members via the duty finder as usual, and complete the instance with fellow players instead. An old relic of the past. Alright, let's do this, Crystal XR. Form a party and enter Holminster Switch. Look at that! Very well! Very well! Let's give it our all! Let's give it our all! My strength is yours! Leave this to me! Let's give it our all! My strength is yours! Sorry, Lena. You gotta, gotta go with my, uh, my squad, you know? There it is! Okay, we got the all-rounder, <coughs> Crystal Exarch, Alfino, and Alize. Easy, easy. Whole Minster Switch. Baby. Ooh. Yeah, it. Freaking eggs, bro. Let's blue this. Let's give it our all. I should really make my portrait, huh? Whoa! Look at that bear doing work on that thing. Whoa! Uh oh. Well, it died. Uh oh. Forgiven and seek. Oh, jeez. Haven't done this in a while. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. That's what I need. We're gonna take this nice and easy. Got him, baby. Got him. Okay, finding my groove again. Nice. Too easy. Oh. Oh. A paladin? All around her, my butt. That's a paladin if I ever saw one. We can pull more. I believe in us. Good job. Good job, Chris Lightguard. Let's pick up those ads. Ooh, I haven't used this ability. Look at that. Ooh, LZ not. Ooh, you guys aren't looking to. Oh, no! Uh oh. That has never happened before. My party members died before me? Okay, well, I guess uh, I do need to take it just, just, just a smidge slower. Jeez. Well, that's embarrassing. What the heck? Come on, friends. 
Come on, Alfie, no. Get the healing up, my guy. All right, well. Apparently my party's not up to snuff. Embarrassing. Imagine. One group at a time, then. See, they really do a lot of damage. Hmm. The difficulty spike. It's upon us. Okay, I have no idea what, uh... What procs this Shadow Bite. I'm not complaining or anything, but... What is it? it? Must be a level 70, specifically a level 70 ability or something, because I haven't had the chance to use it before. There we go. Good job, friends. Now we're doing better. There we go. See? It takes a little teamwork. A little teamwork to make the dream work. Stick with it. It's only two. <laughs> Saint screen. That don't look good. Oh, you idiot! Stop standing right next to each other, maybe. Are kind of dumb. Come on, friends. Good job. Let's go. Look at friggin' eggs. Ooh, big bear. These guys one at a time. Maybe it's just those specific enemies that mess us up. But I don't want to take a chance. Exarch, you can't stand there! I joke. Oh man, this dungeon's gonna take extra long. Nothing wrong with that, but... My goodness. If I focus with my team, make things go a little bit faster at least. Seven swipe! Nay! Not today! make any sense to put dots on because uh, they die faster than the whole countdown of it. Wasted pod potency. One more. That's it, man. That's it. Feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Get into the flow state. Let's go. Yeah, scorpion. And all its eggs. I like the way that ability get thank you. See, that's how you're supposed to do it. This uh, shadow bite ability looks really cool though. All oh, the purple coming down? Oh, jeez. I was freaking embarrassed. Oh yeah. We're getting up there to uh, unlocking all the abilities for a full rotation and everything, so fingers be putting in work, you know. 
one day I'll actually look up to see what the, the true bard rotation is. <laughs> right now I'm just like, yeah, you know what? That sounds like a good ability to press. At least in just these dungeon AoE situations, I can't imagine it matters all that much. If I were to do Savage and stuff like that, obviously, optimize myself a little better. What do they gotta say? This is the monster we saw at Amarang! Easy now, what do you say? We face it together. Of light. What's that? Okay, path of light, raid wide, got it. Raisin bull, probably gonna stand in front, yeah. Okay. Oh no! Thumb screw? New plan. Stick on Alize. She's probably going to be my safest bet. No, I'll stick on Alfino. You and me, buddy. Just tell me, tell me the way to go. Pillory. That sounds like a. Yep, that's a tank buster. Raisin Bull. Okay, okay. I'm sticking out Alpha Note, guys. Where, where are we going, friend? Let's get some Oh, I confused him. Oh, he's fine. Woo! Woo! Got some movement mechanics, baby! Ding, ding. Path of Light, pop my Troubadour here. You're welcome, Alfino. Know. Bang, bang. Raven Bull. Where are we going? We go over here, yep. Oh. Wooden horse. Now it's gonna do. Ah! Made it. Horse. Okay. Look for the markers. Daijobu. Too easy. This is just the first boss of this freaking place. A path of light. I don't have Kubador. Pillory. Brazen board. Don't know what the pattern's gonna be. Got him. Too easy. Too easy, mate. Okay. Woo. Took, took, took a bit of time. But we figured it out. Is everyone all right? Well, nothing in there? There's nothing in there. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not going to go to my thing. Ah, I'll save you. A switch gremlin. A Nintendo boy playing the Switch. Uncivil tongue. How oh, dare you? Civilize your tongue, please. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Here we go. Okay, switch to single target. Slowly inch my way to more mobs. The 
Come on, friends. Ish, here we go. Ooh, trick. This place is littered with these eggs. With the flames in the distance. Trying to uh, focus target with the rest of my party. See which enemy they're attacking and attack the same one. Let's go. This. Oh no! Forgiven disobedience. Song on, yeah? Headbutt. Don't stand in front of that. All you do is in vain. Nay. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. You don't want your sacrifice. Moving up onto the second boss of here pretty soon. Hey. It changes. I mean, it's the same line, but it definitely sounds different. Focus. Release. This one is more, uh... We call it concise, I guess. Come on, friends. Yes. Focus. Release. Who are we attacking? there little by little one by one can you use this ability no. I think we're attacking this guy now. definitely are headbutt don't stand in front good for slag sark well done nice take him down Just that should do it. Yes, please. Slaying eels. What the heck? Oh no, this guy fell. Oh no. Oh no. Ew. Oh. Oh, it's what's her face? Another eater. So this is where you went. Oh no. It's Tesline. Oops. Wrong one. The tickler! <laughs> Not the tickler! <laughs> Skull's bridle. Dang, dude. That thing got super powerful. Uh oh. Well, I should probably go stand in that spot over there, huh? Oops. I can still fight. Oh, jeez. Okay, Skull's Bridle, that's the one I need to make it. Got it. And in the middle. Guess we gotta move now? Yep, move, move, move. Oh, everyone. We're going. We're here. Fever flagellation. We all want to stay close, I'm assuming. Ah, 
But the further it travels, the more damage it does. Okay. That must be it. That's why Alize almost died last time, because I was an idiot and ran him far away. And now she's getting back at me by limit breaking. Gold's Bridal, that's Troubadour time. Got him. Oh, another one, which I don't have anything for, sorry. The Tickler! Watch out! I don't have Troubadour. Stack on Alfie in the middle. Get out of this. And we're all gonna be close together for this part. What am I? Four? What about me? Too easy. What the heck's happening? Bridal. Nope, still on cooldown. Another one, still on cooldown. I'm doing as much DPS as I can, man! The Tickler! Re up my dots. Uh, still on cooldown. Alright, we're almost there. Just about the middle, please. Got him. Sorry, Tesline. How do you say? I've gone pale. I'm fine. We should keep moving. Yeah, that's that's gotta hurt. He's got away. No! Oh my! It's totally just. We we're too slow to save them. Ooh, man, that's a lot. Keep up now. Keep up now. Ooh, uh, I should probably. Yeah, I want to target this guy so I know what it's doing. Hail swing. Crystal uh, Star, can you move those guys just a smidge closer? There you go. That's fine. I can stand here. Got him. Focus. Release. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Let's, let's clear these eggs. There's a big one over there, that's never good. Ever to die, yo. Uh, I should probably upgrade my gear or something. I could go to the market board and buy some, but it's just gonna become obsolete in like a few levels, so what's the point, you know? Well, I guess the point would be able to clear stuff like this faster, but still. I. Should uh, I risk it? I'm risking it. We're gonna pull this one too. Awaken the great stone! Oh. 
I guess I can't. Hmm. I didn't know that. Now awaken. There we go. It was nice. And waited for us to defeat the other ones first. It knows how difficult you are. Going, keep it coming. Get that global cooldown rolling, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Dang it, missed it. What I get? I think we'll be attacking this one. Consensus says, Yay, I think. Oh, Alzi is casting, that's why. She was, she was uh, charging up for a big one. Let's do this. The big boy. Oh, one of those guys again. Guessing up there must be where the uh, the light warden is. <laughs> got him! Got him! Got him! Get it! Get it! Almost there! Yes! I put out the fire with my sheer heroism. We are close. Be on your guard. Why is this happening? <laughs> Do not. Come for your skin, Light Warden. Oh. What in darnation? Oh, this one creepy bastard. Oh, those legs, those hands. We stand in the presence of a light warden. <laughs> Nay. Okay, alright, alright. Game face. Scavenger's daughter. Probably a raid wide. Got it. Okay, that's the raid wide. Troubadour that one up. Head crusher, tank buster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pendulum. Oh, looks like we're moving away. Oh, yep. Okay, pendulum. It's a marker on somebody and move away. Got it. Chain down. Uh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it targets a single player or a single character. You get stuck. Party members must free you and move out of the way. Easy enough. Oh, probably go behind him, I guess. I was targeted for that. Oh, it sucks out all your ETH. Oops, man, I just ruined my stupid songs. Gosh dang it. Right, not. Go to the left. Left not, go to the right. The song's so hype. We have my dots. That's a tank buster. Good job, Exarch. Repositioning. Don't stand next to anybody. Tapophobia. Into the lights. Stack.
Ooh, that hurt. Okay, don't have a song because I messed up my whole thing. Wait for the song to come back eventually. Pendulum, move away. Stay away. Fierce beating. Okay, I don't know why we want to go over there. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm so screwed. Ah, okay, and it's gonna go in rotation. Fists in front and then tail on the back. That's simple enough. Roll around, roll around. Keep up the deeps while you're at it. This would suck as a caster. What are you doing now? See, see? Okay, good job. Okay, into the lights. I could troubadour this. Nah. I feel like we can take it. Daijo. Right knots. I want to make a flip through on the left side. Song up. Left knot, probably. Yep. Go on the right side. Move, Alfino! No! This guy, dude, I swear. Chained down. I'm gonna get chained. Help me! Help! Help! Please! Why is it always me? Get out the way! Suck him up! Scavenger's daughter. Ooh, that's a cool line. Say, say that again. I was there. Dope. Got him. Still didn't kill though. That's okay. It was still, it was still cool. I, I liked it. Head crusher, tank buster. Way. A couple more GCDs in there before I have to. Oh, yeah, we got this now. Pendulum. Two, as they say, easy. Doing the thing again, and that's what it's all about. You get that tongue out of here. What's it? Ew. Oh, glad to have you join us, Lena. What do we got to say? A light warden gone. I can scarce believe it. Rest well. How do you say? It was no less than what I expected. But well done. You know me. Warrior of light here. Lickling great sword. I already got one. Lame. Alright, let's do this. Uh. Harvest it, parts. It's releasing its ether. Fall back. We cannot let it touch us. Quickly, my lord, we must withdraw. That will not be necessary, Captain. Though I appreciate your concern, the eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, Another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. The blessing of light, and the hero who wields it now stands before you.
Behold, the monster's power is broken, and the world twisted by its touch returns to its rightful form. Darkness has come. Is that what I think it is? The night sky, as it should be. Are you people you killed a warden then bathed in its ether as if it were a spring shower and now the sky the legends are true my lord how many years have I waited for this moment? For the one possessed of her blessing. For you. You have vanquished the Light Warden of Lakeland, and for the first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of night. Without the ever-present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other Wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain, that this world might be spared from oblivion. Not only for the first, but for the source as well. Save one, and we save the other. But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against your will. I swear on my life, I will one day atone for that deed. But for the present, I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the Wardens and restore darkness to the first. <laughs> I will become the warrior you need. It sounds like a glorious adventure. It seems I have no choice but to fight. I'm gonna say it seems I have no choice but to fight. Look at Ardbert in the back there. On behalf of the first, I offer you my deepest thanks. I understand there is much at stake here, Exarch, but why do you risk yourself so readily? It must have been a dangerous drain on your ether to summon even one person across the rift. I do it for my people, of course. To give the Crystarium the tomorrow it deserves. That is true now, yes, but the city had yet to be built when you first called forth the Crystal Tower. I'm simply curious to know what prompted you to commit yourself so completely to this particular course.
There are things which we can ill afford to lose. And I sensed from the first that I had a part to play in preserving them. <laughs> Forgive me. I fear the events of the day may have taken their toll. Despite appearances, I am an old man. One burdened with many difficult memories, some too painful to recall. Well then, I'm sorry for pressing you. It's a family failing, I'm afraid. <laughs> One which has served us well more often than not. Needless to say, we will continue to fight at your side until the last Sin Eater is defeated. Mm -hmm. Come then, my warriors of darkness. Let us gather the surviving villages and make our way back to the Crystarian. We did it, and night falls once again. So many callbacks to that glorious trailer. Oh, the Shadowbringers trailer is so good, man. And just hearing the song again, chills. How quickly you have justified my faith in you. So many lives saved, and the sky itself heralds your success. A single victory at a larger struggle, perhaps, but a momentous one nonetheless. The Light Warden's completo! Warrior of Darkness. That's me. Now, as for how to proceed from here. The villagers we evacuated earlier have arrived safely in the Crystarium. They seem to be accepting their situation for the moment. Most folk are far too distracted by the sky to worry about wounds or lost homes. They whisper and wonder if the Warrior of Darkness has come. It is to be expected. Furious, I must ask the favor of you. Would you be so kind as to conceal your involvement in this endeavor for the time being? Seeing the light recede from Lakeland is a momentous occasion, and many will be swept up in a maelstrom of excitement and confusion. Should you come forth as the legendary warrior of darkness, I fear that, no matter how good your intentions, such an appearance will throw the city into disarray. I find myself in agreement with the Exarch. Although my concerns are more focused on Yulmore, it may be best if you maintain a low profile until we see how Valtry responds to all this. Hmm. Mm hmm. My thanks. Though we cannot freely celebrate your success, pray, allow our heart to be buoyed by this joy of our citizens, the joy you surely brought into being. Ah. ah and I must ask the same discretion of you, Captain. It is my intention to share with our people the tale of a great warrior who stood in defiance of the Sin Eaters. This unnamed champion defeated the Light Warden and has since departed for parts unknown, yes? As you wish, my lord. Your penchant for mystery is nothing new, and I will encourage folk not to question this either. Although, I expect to be told the truth of it one day, about all of you. With that settled, I shall return to the Crystarium and make an address to the people. These explanations and adjustments will consume much of my time. So pray, take the opportunity to rest and recover from your exploits, and to think you will not even need to shutter the windows to enjoy a dark and peaceful night's sleep. Get out of here, Exar. Go do your administrative stuff. I want you my friends. I must stay behind and coordinate the evacuation of the remaining survivors. And I hesitate to ask after all you've done here today, but could I ask you to pass on a message on your way to the Pendants? Please let Bragi know that we're bringing in a number of injured, and that any restoratives in the markets need to be reserved for the infirmary. Mm.
we should start by making our way back to the Crystarium. Slowly, mind you. It wouldn't do to arrive too soon after the Exarch. I'm staying behind as well. I... There's something I need to check in on in Holminster. We already went through the village top to bottom, they say. We should all take the chance to rest, you included. I knew one of those Sin Eaters, and I can't just... I can't rest. Not now. <laughs> so please, I wish to be left alone for a while, and that means you as well, Furious. Tell me cross if you try to follow me. I promise to find you later when I feel myself again. Just you and me then, shall we? Me and the boy! The good old lad Alfie No. Back in business, baby. Oh, there they go. Alright, let's teleport, because screw walking. Good job, Lena. Take care of that dude. You're doing well. Alright. I'm just standing here? He is. All right, Alfie, you know. We gotta go talk to the infirmary, remember? We have an important job to do. Well, the Crystarium seems relatively ordered, would you say? The Exarch's speech must have been reassuring to hear. On the contrary, there is something jubilant in there. I have a feeling this night will be quite as peaceful as our hooded friend predicted. I think I shall take a brief stroll around town before retiring to my chambers. Once you discharge your duty to Bragi, I suggest you do the same. Sleep well, Furious. I hope untroubled dreams find you and Alize both. Right. Where's this braggy fella? It, uh, I guess I can just walk here. Yeah? Probably the closest. Unless. Now we'll go to Musicalis something, 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 something. Pretty sure that's the one I need to go to. Musicalis, yeah. Musicalis Markets. Musica, Universalis. <laughs> Close enough, man. Alright, Braggy. It's Braggy. Hey, what can I do for you? Looking to buy a lantern like every other stumbling soul in the city. I see. Well, Captain Lena can rest assured that any potions I spot coming in will be set aside for the wounded. Hang on a moment. You're carrying messages for the guard. Does that mean you were there, then? The battle at home, mister? Stalwart lad like you might want to pay a visit to the wandering stairs, make himself known. I'm sure Gilnor can introduce you to some interesting opportunities. Eh. It is interesting. Speak with Glenard. Not Gilnard, Glenard. 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 Oh. Oh, this song, okay. It's nice, nice relaxed atmosphere. Nice place. Cozy, comforting. I'm doing the whole 360 here, I guess. Jeez. Uh, let's see. Who's the guy in there? Laila, more beer for table two, and a couple of binds of mead for table three while you're at it. Coming right up. Sorry we rushed off our feet today, sir. Can I get you anything? Drinks are on the house. Ooh, nice. Celebrating. Hmm? <laughs> oh, that Blaggy has a twisted sense of humor. <laughs> that they could send you to me at a time like this. The first real knight in a near hundred years has folk all riled up and then some. What's more, there was that eater business that holds a switch. They say a light warden was destroyed without a damn trace. It was the warrior of darkness who did the deed. <laughs> I really must apologize for Glynard. He's been almost as rowdy as our customers, and that's no small feat. A lot of our regulars are bounty hunters, you see. They mostly go after eaters, and the room of the warrior's appearance was the spark to the kind kindling. Oh, music change. 
You know how those weak eaters are drawn to the strong ones, right? Aye, they swarm like angry bees around a queen. You need look no further than Holman's stuff for proof of that. But attacks on that scale don't happen every day, praise the blessed shadow. No, the more common threats are the strays. No one knows why, but every now and again, an eater will leave the pack to prowl alone. Those are the ones you run into on the road if your luck is foul. They're a danger to everyone, but the settlement council puts bounties on their heads, and our bar here is a convenient place for hunters to gather and share information. Seems a few of them were inspired by the warden's slaying even more than the most. These are the types who have their sights set on the absolute worst of the strays, a class of eaters they've been dubbed the Cardinal Virtues. The Virtues showed up out of nowhere about three summers ago, and when historians heard the descriptions given by survivors, well, apparently they share an appearance with the villains who caused the flood. And if that doesn't send a chill down your spine, they're also reported to be as tough as light wardens, the kind of prey you can take down single-handed. Our virtue hunters had all but given up, but knowing the warrior of darkness is out there is lit a fire in their bellies. Just look at them. That Hume over there with the oversized sword is grandson. He's in it for revenge. He wants to recruit a comrade in arms as tenacious as he is. The Mr. Lad is Lou Reek. Don't be fooled by those dewy cheeks. He's as hard as hunters they come. He just lost a partner and seems to be on the lookout for a new one. That's Serig. Word is, he is an expert in magecraft to help fight the virtue he's after. Last we have Giot, dwarf and drunkard both. Wanted to join forces with a healer, and only a healer. Something about needing a mender's wisdom. I've seen my share of competent veterans, and you have that look about you. Maybe you should introduce yourself to one of, their, one of our hunters. Who knows? Together, you might even collect the bounty of a cardinal virtue. Now there's a grand idea. Imagine the prestige my bar would earn if he boasted the patronage of a successful virtue hunter. You have gained access to role quests. A separate quest line in story is now available for tank, physical DPS, magical range DPS, and healer roles. In order to reach the final stages of the Shadowbringer's main scenario, you must complete at least one role quest line. Speak with the virtue hunter at the War Hunting Stairs to accept the quest line. Oh, brother! Nah, these quests are actually pretty cool. Well, I might as well do this uh, at the same time, huh? Interesting, it doesn't show up here where uh, my main scenario quest is. I maybe have to do it first. Let's see, let's accept it. No greater sport. Wait, who wouldn't happen to be? Oh, he's checking me out. All right, okay, I'm into it. What's up, guy? Yes, of course you are. It is plain from the way you carry yourself. You're just the sort of man I've been looking for. You're perfect. Eh? My name is Lou Reek, and I am a bounty hunter. But not just any bounty hunter, I will have you know. Nay, I am not wont to settle for run-of-the-mill prey. I hunt sin eaters. Not only that, I recently set my sights on a particularly notable fiend. One of the four cardinal virtues. Those infamous instigators of the Flood itself. Naturally, it would take considerable strength and skill to defeat such a formidable eater, and I am not afraid to admit I cannot do it alone. However, with the aid of equally formidable allies, I am confident it can be done. And you, my friend, are exactly the sort of ally I have mind to recruit. Walk away without a word. <laughs> oh, I was gonna mess up, yo. I'll feign interest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I knew you would be interested. And should the challenge alone be insufficient motivation, know that I have substantial financial resources at my disposal. You will be duly compensated for your service, rest assured. However, as much as I am certain you are the right man for the job, it's only meet that I put your skills to the proof. A simple test should suffice. Pray, do not be offended. Do not be offended. But you would be shocked how many people present themselves falsely in order to enrich themselves or impress others. You wanna talk, kid? Nanny! Uh... You know what? Oh yeah, I guess it doesn't show up here. Hmm. Alright. The question is, continue with the MSQ and knock out all these all at once? 
or do them as I have them. Hmm. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna focus on the MSQ and knock them all out at once. I should make things actually easier, because then I'll be a little more leveled up, have better gear. I might. Ah, oh, jeez. That might bite me in the butt later, but that job. I don't care. Manager of Sweets. Welcome back, sir. I wonder if anyone can sleep with this with the city in such an uproar. Will, will you be retiring to your quarters? I will. Very good. In light <clears throat> of the present situation, I've had illumination prepared for all our rooms. No need to rush to the markets for lanterns or candles. Pleasant rest, sir. War of Darkness completed! Oh, no, no. I can do the roll quest when I'm waiting for, like, trials and stuff. There you go. Good compromise. So it's your lot's turn to be the Warriors of Darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. Been watching, have you? These are my private quarters. <laughs> These are my private quarters, ahem. Hi, I know. Just the place. In case you've forgotten, you're the only one who can see me. If we had one of our little chats in public, people might start thinking you'd lost your wits. Those white-haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Are they your friends then? Through thick and thin. Aye. Then I suggest you keep them close. It's when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. I know that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. But I wonder... What will it cost you this time? I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. And just more nagging burdens to ignore. The boy's a little cynical, huh? So this is what the light was hiding. He's here. I must go to him. <laughs> Nani? Meanwhile, inside an Imperial Magitech facility in the Source. Huh. Intruders! Fan out and find them! <laughs> out of my way! Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. 
Saristinian, I presume. The dragoon who plucked the warrior of light from the jaws of death? Your armor is most distinct. Much as yours once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. Van Bailsa, in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Hmm. You are in contact with the Scions, I take it. <laughs> Through no choice of my own. They tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. I swear their receptionist was trained as a spy. Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of your ether. If they have resorted to using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. And what of their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. If it is Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. And they will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? The gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings, to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. Inhaling even the tiniest amount will cause all bodily functions to cease much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Released over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant, and all without damaging a single structure. Search every corner! Rouse a barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! I have more questions, but now is not the time. Seristinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. In case you don't know, Varys himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. I am aware of what his radiance said at the Parley. Thus, I would return to the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. My path leads to Garlemald. Those are two people I thought would never, uh, never collide. And yet here we are. Between two worlds complete them. Nice. Had a good rest. Got visited by a uh, freaking R bird again. Is that one quest? What the heck's going on? Anyways. Manager of Sweets. An unwelcome guest. Oh, R bird, you mean. Ah, uh, begging your pardon, sir. But do you perchance intend to head outside? If so, I would strongly advise you not to stray too far from the Crystarium. Word has it Yulmore has dispatched its military to Lakeland. Given the timing, one can only assume they do not welcome the return of night. Even now, the Exarch is in the occupant, liberating response. Uh oh! Crystal Exarch's got a problem! Vothri sending the forces! It'll. Let's go see what he has to say. I'm sure Alfino will have thoughts about this as well.
You have business with the Crystal Exarch. Just say the word, and I would be happy to escort you to the Arche. Yes. Of course, I'm the last one to arrive. You are come at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. Laxon Loft here in Lakeland. Yulmor has sent one of its airships. They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. That was real soon. My lord, I am come with the Yule Moran emissary. May I show him in? A moment, Captain, if you would. Everyone, gather round. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. Enter. Well, well. The commander of the Yulmoran army himself. To what do I owe the honor, General Ramjeet? The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. We are people responsible. You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmor's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. Should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the night sky. If Yulmore considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead, and writhe as we might, like maggots in its rotting course, it will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, 
you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yule Moore's mercy promptly. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you? I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. Am I imagining things, or did he just stare straight at us? I fear he did. The General is not a man to be trifled with. He is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yulmor's army since before Vorthry's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army and for so long without possessing exceptional instincts. If you more chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. Tis noble of you to say, Master Alphano, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmore has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the Warrior of Darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well, which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxanloft were observed taking a prisoner. A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Minfilia. <laughs> it may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. Wait, is this THE Minfilia? I'm sorry, generations of Minfilias? Nanny! Ah, uh, of course. How remiss of me. I had intended to speak to you of Minfilia. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. He will be able to enlighten you. Alphino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. Yo, this is a bit heavy, bro. Here I was thinking I'd just go meet up with all my friends. Now we have a war with Yulemore brewing? Come on now, Minfilia's on the loose? Come on, man. Can't a brother catch a break, you know what I mean?
to talk to Morin. Morin, Morin. Shabbat it. It oh yes. This guy was definitely eager to spread his knowledge, so I will indulge him in that endeavor. More. Yes. We have to books pertaining to the warring of darkness. I'm afraid most are out. Most are out on loan at present. They are experiencing quite a surge in popularity. Oh, you wish to learn about the Oracle of Light? Then it would be my pleasure to assist. After I have finished off some few outstanding tasks, that is. While I attend to them, perhaps you could fetch me a book? The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light, it's called. That was intended for younger readers, it provides an excellent summary of the subject matter, and the artwork is quite lovely besides. I would not hesitate to recommend it to anyone with an interest in learning about Minifilia. But you must see for yourself. The book should be located on the level below. Should, I say. For while there is a place for everything here, not everything is always in its place. Despite my, be despite my best efforts. In short, if the book is not where it should be, it will almost certainly be somewhere it shouldn't. So, <laughs> good luck! Gosh dang it, Morin. Some help you were. That's... Towering Shelf. The book does not appear to be here. Well, dang it. Okay. Oh, there's more downstairs. We'll go downstairs. How about here? Take ages to find this thing. The book does not appear to be here. Okay. Daijobu, there's always more. Here for sure. Just as your eyes begin to blur, they finally come to rest on a copy of The Illustrated Tale of the Oracle of Light. Yes! Have you found the book? Yes, I have. Yes, this is the one. Hope it wasn't too difficult to track down. I'm happy to say I finished all my present tasks. If you want to call your friends over, we can begin learning at once. Teach me, my good friend. My good man. Without further ado, then. It began a hundred years ago, when the flood of light threatened to swallow Norvrand. Just as all seemed lost, a savior appeared who halted the all-consuming radiance. A maiden with hair of spun gold and eyes of clear as sapphire. Naught was known about her save that her name was Minfilia, and for delivering the realm, she came to be revered as the Oracle of Light. After stopping the flood, the mysterious maiden vanished without a trace. Fifteen years later, her name would unexpectedly reappear in the annals of history. When Sin Eaters laid ruin to the kingdom of Obert, a young girl was discovered who was immune to the creature's blighted touch. One with hair of spun gold and eyes of clear as sapphire. She was hailed as the Oracle Reborn and came to likewise be called Minfilia. Enlisting in the Yomorian army, this Minfilia fought and vanquished countless Sin Eaters. Alas, like so many other soldiers, she eventually met her. She eventually met her end in battle. Yet with her dying breath, she whispered to her unto her grieving comrades, Minfilia will return. And true to her word, some years later, another girl was discovered who possessed the same self-same eyes, that self-same hair, and those self-same powers. She too took the name Minfilia. She too fought Sin Eaters as a soldier of Yomor. She too fell in battle. But many more were to follow in her footsteps. So the cycle continues to this day. And that concludes the tale. By their valor and sacrifice, these women have saved Norfrent on numerous occasions. 
and were it not for them, we might never have learned of the Light Wardens and their nature. They sound like formidable warriors. Some, perhaps. The truth is rather less simple. Though the Oracle is reborn with certain common traits, he does not inherit the memories or her knowledge of the previous incarnation, incarnations. All of them in Vilias thus far were discovered as ordinary girls, unversed in the ways of war and ignorant of the power they harbored. While some embraced their fate and devoted themselves to training, others did not. But all were made to face the senators, and all died to keep our hopes alive. What can you tell us about the current Menphilia? She was found by the Ilmarian army some ten years ago and taken into their care. Or, rather, their custody. She was a prisoner in all but name. For by that time, under Lord Bothley's rule, Yulmar had already abandoned resistance in favor of decadence. Menphilia was as uncomfortable un Men Menphilia was an uncomfortable remainder of the war they no longer wished to fight, a potential threat to the peace, so they kept her under lock and key. Huh. For a long while, we heard nothing more of her. We couldn't even be certain she was alive save that it was in the Yomorian's Mor best interest for her to remain under their control. But then, three years ago, a gallant soul stole into the city and rescued her from their clutches, just like a hero from the tales. Indeed. Well, I believe we now have a good grasp of Minfilia's tale. Thank you for your time, Warren. Why not trouble you for a word, Ferris, outside? Hmm... Hmm, I'm smelling, uh, Shadowbringers trailer hints, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's As you will have already surmised, the gallant soul who rescued Menphilia was none other than our own dear Thancred. They have since been gathering the wandering the land together never remaining in one place for long, which is why we have not yet had a chance to meet them. We know that Menphilia journeyed here as Hydaelyn's emissary to halt the Flood of Light. It could only be her that the people of the First witnessed a hundred years ago, the original Oracle of Light. But while there's plainly some connection between the woman we knew and her namesakes, the fact that these girls do not share her memories must surely mean they are not the same person. I think we'd have to understand that. I doubt- I have no doubt that he understands. The question is how he feels. Regardless, Thancred we know would not forsake his charge. If she has been captured, we may be certain he will not stand idly by. <sighs> there you go again, talking in your roundabout way. If you think we should rescue Minfilia, just spit it out. It just so happens I agree with you. It's quite clear that this, that this Minfilia possesses Hydaelyn's blessing. It wouldn't hurt to have a second such individual on our side. Right, Furious? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Quite. <laughs> That's literally what I say. If it was indeed even better. One's generally been enough. But fine. Mm -hmm. That's quite. Quite. I see you made up your minds. Oh. Exarch. What brings you here? A report and a proposal. First, the report. Our scouts have confirmed that the Umoran forces at Lox and Loft do indeed have Minfilia in their custody. For the present, they are holding her there, but we can be certain they will move her to Yulmor ere long. Should that happen, we may be forced to give up, give her up as lost. So if we mean to act, we should do so quickly. Which brings me to my proposal. I ask that you entrust this undertaking to us, people of the Crystallion. <gasps> oh, okay. A random spot to end a quest. About to be more. You're more. What do you mean, Exarch? The Crystarium's resolve. Oh, let's see it again. You are doubtless eager to attempt Minfilia's rescue, and with your combined strength, you may well succeed. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary.
'Twas not merely the night sky that you restored to us, but hope. Hope for the future of Norvrand. Unlike you, we cannot contend with the Light Wardens, but so long as hope burns in our hearts, we will fight on regardless. This I will prove to you. My friends, I thank you for gathering at such short notice. There is something I would ask you all. As many of you are aware, I received an emissary from Yulmor a short while ago in the form of General Ranjit. To my dismay, the General condemned the slaying of the Light Warden, and warned me in no uncertain terms that, should the Crystarium cast its lot with the Warrior of Darkness, there would be war. Let none be mistaken, we would be hard-pressed indeed to resist the might of Yulmor. Some would even call it suicide. And yet my heart cries out to fight. Better that than relinquish the hope that swelled in my breast when I beheld the night sky for the first time in a hundred years. Or so says my heart. My mind, meanwhile, reminds me that to follow my heart would be to risk everything we have accomplished thus far. Clearly, this is not a decision to be made lightly, nor less alone. And so I put the question to you all. What should we do? My lord, you already know our minds. It brought tears to our eyes to witness the knight's return. The whole of Norvrand deserves the same, and not just because some children's story tells us so. Yulmor's influence is far-reaching. Should war break out, trade would be subject to restrictions. The flow of goods will dry up, and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. But make do, we will. Aye, we can weather such hardships. Is that not the very thing the Crystarium was built for? We have always taken pride in our ability to sustain ourselves. Not just to endure, but to thrive. When all falls down around you, rise up. Those were your words. There may come a day when all hope seems lost. But even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on that our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Rousing words apart, I never much cared for those Yulmoran bastards anyway. No better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. Trust you to spoil the moment. It appears we have a consensus. Let it be known that the Yulmoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. So, I move that we rescue the Oracle, grant her a place among us, and let that be our answer to Yulmor's ultimatum. Hear, hear! In planning a strategy for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. And there you have it. If Yulmor wishes to denounce us as villains, 
then we shall embrace our villainy. Will you do so as well? <sighs> we will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. My lord, our proposal is as follows. We begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lakeland. They should serve to delay the airship's departure. At the same time, we scatter dream powder from the air. Not all will succumb to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle. Very good. See to your preparations. <laughs> and what exciting crimes would you have us commit? Speaking for my fellow villains, I'd say we're capable of most things, though we draw the line at indolence. <laughs> if excitement is your desire, then I bid you join the guard. Captain Lena will give you your orders. Don't you love it when a community comes together? Cannot be stopped. All right, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. What do we do, Captain? So, you will be joining the guard. But however highly the Exarch thinks of you, you will receive no special treatment from me. Is that clear? Where's your salute, soldier? <laughs> there it is. Better. More spirited than the Exarch's feeble attempts, certainly. <laughs> now, first things first. You will need uniforms. Go to the Crystalline Main and report to Catalyst. She will see you measured and fitted. Mm. Onward! And I'm gonna use a shot. The Crystalline Main. It's mean! Mean green bad machine. Excuse me. I mean for some new clothes, Catalyst, please. Ah, and there's the last of them. Your friends are being measured as we speak. Right this way. We'll see to it you look your dashing best for your first outing. How are we looking? <laughs> okay. Squeezy noises. Love it. What about them? And they're not wearing it. Oh. Oh, they're just measuring, I see. Okay. Done, are you? Let's have a look at those numbers. Yeah, check out my bicep size. My bicep diameter. Come on, huge. I see. Impressive. Wow. Hmm. How goes it? Sorry, Captain. I'm afraid we don't have anything on hand that's ready to fit. But we do have a few that are fairly close. We should be able to make them work with some minor adjustments. Very well then. See to it. And have the uniforms delivered directly to the field. I shall take this opportunity to brief you on the mission. What are we doing here? Ooh, okay. It's even not got a grid system. We're playing D&D, baby. Let's go. As mentioned earlier, we will deploy Amaro, Amaro to scatter dream powder from the air. Once the powder takes effect, an elite unit will storm the fortress to rescue the Oracle. Her safe liberation is our sole objective. Engagement is to be avoided wherever possible. I assume we're to be a part of said unit? Correct. Hmm. The unit will be divided into two contingents, one deployed from Fort Job and the other from the Hostile Imperative. You and Alfino will join the former. 
Imperius, meanwhile, will join the latter with me. Mm -hmm. Before you proceed to your positions, you are to report to Chesamil at Spagiritz. She will issue you with a serum to ward off the effects of Dream Powder. We shall be on our way then. Take care, my friend. We will see you in the field. It's quite far to the Imperative, so you may make use of an Amaro from the Rookery, after you have collected the serum, of course. Let's do it! Thanks, Catalyst. You're, you're a big help. Uh, the serum is down there, so let's go to the Dorsal Gate. Dorsal Gate. And... The Exenda. Where? Spagyrix. 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 Just a minute. Yes, sweetie? Is there something you need? Oh, one of the god come for your dram, are you? Here you go. A dose of this will keep you firmly in the waking world while your enemies are off in dreamland. Thank you. Now, if this is your first time, I should warn you. It's bitter as sin. Prince's kiss, they call it. But if you ask me, it should be called Crone's kiss. <laughs> Just aside, the stuff really is foul. Most people gag like there's no tomorrow. But if you don't drain every last drop, you're liable to end up taking a trip to Dreamland yourself. They must ask you to drink it here and now when I watch. Come on, give the old crone a kiss. <laughs> oh. Let's kiss this. Oh, oh I, I can't target. I can still use it. What? Not ready. Oh, I'm doing it. Well done, sweetie. Oh, oh no! Oops. I accidentally uh, messed up the uh, dialogue, but you just said, well done. Probably, hopefully you don't feel too bad, blah, blah, blah. Dang it, that's annoying. Alright, anyways, let's go get our Amaro. I drank the serum. That's all that matters. Yeah, no, no, what the heck? Temenos Rookery. Zem Janmai. Yes, what do you require of me? I don't know how these guys must sound. And I'm all to take you to the Imperial today. As much as I would like to oblige, all our mounts are reserved for the coming operation. I fear you will have to go by foot. Get out of here! Mm, but wait, there might be another way, assuming you are willing to lend a hand. Jeez, ah, brother! Let me get that head cough real quick. Of course, I am unfortunately a Viera, so. Ooh! Nice! Logistics. Oh no! <laughs> Cringe! Logistics of war. Oh man! Dang it, I forgot that I need to deal with these ether current things. So, if this is an ether current quest from the main scenario quest, that means there's still a bunch of blue quests I need to do. <laughs> ah! Logistics of war. I was about to deliver an Amaro to Rodiscus around, one of the locations once the beasts will fly for the operation. The tower lies along the route to the Imperative. If near enough is good enough for you, you may make the delivery in my stead. Very good. I shall ready the Amaro for departure at once. Onward and forward. Well, this goes around is to the north and west. You can take the road, or you can fly. It's up to you. Upon arriving, make yourself known to the sentry, and she will give you further instructions. If you should become separated from the Amaro, worry not. The beasts are trained to return to the Rookery. That is all. Oh well. Do I fly? Oh, you, you know what? Oh, I might take advantage of this. I'm gonna use this to go find all the freaking. Oh, dude, no, that is big brain stuff right there. Use this to find all the uh, ether currents real quick. <laughs> I don't see any other blue quest though. When these blue quests supposed to come out? 
And then I'll just teleport back to Fort Job and get the mount again, see? It's brilliant. Northwest, a little further. Okay, should be somewhere around here. There it is. There it is, my boy! Yep. How many more are there, actually? Nice, nice, nice. Let's see, there is... Oops. Oh, no, 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 I, I don't want my mount. I can't fly yet. There's another one straight to the west. So, if I go back to Fort Job... And then run back over to the Amaro guy. I actually don't know if this ends up being more efficient or faster. Probably not, considering all the things are in my path anyways. Might just be shooting myself in the foot here. I am, aren't I? Let's see, hold on. I only need... One more, and it's literally going to be over there. Gosh, I'm so dumb. Yeah, it's probably literally over here. Okay, you know what? Waste my time, 2024. Let me just fly to where I need to fly. It'll... Okay, the music just stopped. Just hang out. We don't need music. I don't need music around here. It's fine. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. I could do the the roll quest here too, but nah. There we go. There's my music. Maybe some other time, you know. There it is. That's the thing. We're going to storm. Mm -hmm. These Amaros are kind of cute, though. Look. Hey, pretty cute, man. Four wings. Pretty cool. That's some good stuff. Oh, you're delivering that tomorrow to us. I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. We already have all the beasts you require here. Instead, this one this one is to go to the imperative to the west. Please see to it. Please see it to the handler on duty. Zell Van Thieu. If you encounter trouble along the path, return here and I'll set you right otherwise. Yeah, I totally could have done this. I'm an idiot, man. 100% wasting my time. Alright. But, where is this? It'll... Is it going to be right in front of my face, or is it going to be, like, way out in the middle? Of... Oh, right there. I think I'll... Okay, I can turn this in first. The last tomorrow. My thanks, friend. You may leave the beast with me. You're welcome. While I go touch this thing really quick. Touch. <laughs> okay. Now, turn in this. Actually, I'm right here. Might as well go touch the etherite. You never know. Training for war, I see. Push ups in armor. That's a good way to do it. Build that strength. What's an equable? What does that mean? Cool. Okay, I got two places now. And that's that's all the uh, ether currents, I believe. Yes, there are. But still no blue quests for me to do for Lakeland. Interesting. Alert, Amaro. Alright, I turned in your Amaro. You're welcome. Say, I don't believe I know you. Did you join the guard recently? <laughs> ah! So that is the way of it. Well, you managed to arrive, and that's all that matters in the end. I bid you welcome to the Austal Imperative, one of our key strongholds in Lakeland. The first thing you'll want to do is report to the captain. You'll find her at the lookout across the way. Let's go to Lena. Oh, I spy some treasure. <laughs> I recently watched a playthrough of a Persona 3 Reload, and holy moly. First of all, the game's goaded. 
game is very, very good. And a lot of the uh, little quips they say, it's just stuck in my head. I'm here, Lena! So, it seems that rather than the Amaro delivering you, you deliver the Amaro. I'll not thank you. I expect all my soldiers to make themselves useful. Speaking of which, I have a task for you. Let's go, baby! Woo, new weapon! Yes! Oh, wait, gotta open it first. Yep. Inventory! Open. Ah, goes the weasel. Applewood! Oh, yeah, baby. What is this current one? 385? 395? Yeah, son. Ooh, oops. Oh, we look on Shinaja. Oh, nice. Alright, Lena. The Oracle of Light. Let's do it. In readiness for the operation, the Amaro will need to be treated with the same serum as us. As you well know, however, it is not pleasant. In order to coax them into taking it, we have sprinkled it in their fodder. All that remains is to feed them, a task I am sure you will enjoy. Fetch the fodder from the Amaro launch and see to four of the beasts. Dismissed. She's a true captain. I dig it. Oh, uh, there's all the blue quests. Holy moly, they're everywhere. There's three here. Is there more? Anywhere else? Four or four jobs? Nope. All this right here? Well, I did say I was going to do the blue quests as I'm going through it, so here we go. Sentry Captain. The Astute Amaro. Damn it all! I can't afford to lose another. Oh, there, friend. Why don't you lend me your aid? One of my best men is yet to return from this patrol, and I fear the worst. As you can see, his Amaro made it back safely. The man's nowhere to be found. Could you search for him in my stead? I would go myself, but I can't very well abandon my post. Whee! Whee! Oh, somewhere in there. Bloody beast, where do you think you're- Ah, oh, too late, I suppose. Wait, you reckon he's gone back for his rider? Sorry to trouble you, friend, but you think you could follow that Amaro for us? That scaly brute might be the best chance of finding our man. And take this salve with you. I reckon there's a good chance he's out there. Too wounded to have made his way back. I can do that. Wait, this does give me a thing, right? Okay, it does. Imagine I just took a quest and I'm not even going to get an ether current out of it. That'd be embarrassing. Centered. Imperative repairs. Oh, there. You're not otherwise occupied at the moment. I was about lending me a hand or two. They've got me on repair duty, and what with the sorry shape this place is in, it's definitely not a one-man job. It's a simple enough task. Just take this here pail of mortar, find a couple of spots where the walls are looking ragged, and apply a healthy dab. Thanks, friend. But with our ranks thinned as they are, we need all the help we can get. Well, that one sounds super easy, thank goodness. You know what, in fact, I might just do that one really quickly right now. Eh, no, I better accept this one first. And then I'll do that one. Tiana. An unreasonable request. Ah, oh, great. Hold it right there, Greenhorn. If you thought you could just stroll right past your senior without asking how you might aid me in my duties, you have another think coming. It just so happens that I have a task for you to perform. This is a supply order that must be delivered to Means, Minas, at Vradiska's Round. You are to take it to him and do so, and do so with all speed. Oh, okay. Delivery quest, easy peasy. Let me go patch up these mortar things real quick. There's a big old stairway. Please let this be the right way. Hopefully there's not another stairway it's supposed to go up. It does say to go up, so I think this is right. On this level more, probably? Yes, okay. Destination! Touch. Nope. Reinforced mortar. Fat. Nice. These friggin' damaged walls, am I right? Touch. Nice. Mm, excuse me. Touch. Good, good. One more, a little bit higher, it looks like. Oh, yep, there it is. And there it is, boy! Let's go! Up. Perfect. Turn this one in. 
Unless, wait, hold on. Radiska's round. Okay, they're all just on the way. Yeah, we'll just turn it around. Might as well. Make it quite easy, you know. Not too troublesome. Take Tom away from the MSQ and all. Shattered. I saw you hard at work out there, friend. I rest easy tonight knowing that some of the ugliest patches of our walls are looking good as new. Are you familiar with the history of the Imperative, perchance? It was built nigh a century ago, by the elves who ruled Lakeland in those days. After the flood, it served as one of our bastions of defense against the Sin Eaters. Yes, this fort's taken its fair share of beatings, but it stands tall to this day, watching over and protecting the Crystarium and its people. And it's our job to keep it standing, material and manpower shortages be damned. Of course, we couldn't do it without the generous efforts of volunteers like you. I reckon we'll have a real talent for repairs, mate. Mayhap I can interest you in joining the guard as a full-time wall mender. <laughs> a jest, of course. Or you're taking enough of your time today. Thank you, friend. Be careful out there. You're welcome. Thank you for thanking me. It means a lot. Uh, should I start the MSQ? Nah. Okay, let's go finish these. Uh, other quests first? Actually, you know what? Maybe the MSQ will take me out there. So, let's do the MSQ. You never know. Give me that fodder. Treated fodder. I'm gonna feed this dream powder to people, or whatever it's called. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good. Take this fodder, boy. Wee, wee, wee. The Amaro happily devours the fodder. Good. Not easy. Wee! <laughs> Please don't be up there. Ah, oh, it is. So this is how people prepare for war, huh? Interesting. Indolent, Amaro. Dare be indolent. Hey, law friend. Wee, wee. The absent mind. The Amaro absent-mindedly munches on the fodder. Got him. Anxious tomorrow. Oh boy, don't be anxious. I'm here. I'll come for you. Wait, 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 wait. The Amaro is wary at first, but appetite eventually wins out and accepts the fodder. Good. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, the equable Amaro. The one I was uh, confused about back in the day. Take this fodder. The Amaro reels at the smell, but accepts the part of the mess. Nice. Okay, I could report back to Lena. Ah, uh, yeah, I better do that just, just in case. She might send me back to some other places. I've done it, Lena. The Amaro are fed. Good. The rest have also been have already been dosed, so we need not fear any of our mounts are coming to the dream powder. All units have now entered the final stages of their preparations. Time is nigh. Make ready and await deployment atop the main watchtower. I will send your uniform along as soon as it arrives. That is all. May night smile upon us. Oh, okay, cool. In that case, it doesn't look like there I'm gonna be able to do this right now, so. Yeah. Let's go do these other quests while we at it. Or we storm the... What the heck is that thing called? Oh, it doesn't have a name. Unless... No, it doesn't have a name. Well, it does, but I don't remember what it was. I believe this is where that man is. Yep, there's the Amaro. I must give him the healing salve or whatever it's called. No, not yet. The Amaro stares intently in the general direction of Damp Soul. Whee! Whee! Oh no. Right, we'll go this way first. Gotta find this guy. Oh no, we're lagging! Whee! Uh, hello? 
still? Oh, no, there you are. Good. The Amaro eyes the wounded soldier with a gaze that can almost be described as concerned. This must be the sentry who was separated from his mount. Where? Where? The Amaro eyes you with an expectant gaze. You sense it is hoping that you may well tend to the man's wounds. <laughs> Think again. Healing salve! Fight and blast! Ooh. Thank you, friend. When the beast knocked me from my mount, I thought it was the end of me for sure. But, how, but however did you know where to look? Well, obviously this guy's here, buddy. My mount's led you to me. You don't say. I owe you an apology, little fellow. Here I thought you ran off in fear of my foe. But it turns out you were looking for help the whole time. And you forgive me for doubting you. Whee! And with that, I'd best head back to the Imperative and let everyone know I'm alright. Thank you, my friend. You saved my life today. You're welcome. All in a day's work, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is only gonna be. I'm gonna turn in two more. It leaves one left. Oh, it must be after a. Uh, I see. I see. All right then. Where's this person at? Hello? Whee! Kristen, with two ends. Oops. Right here. Where are you? Nope, a little higher, huh? Fair, fair. Oh. There you are. Mines. Mine? Mines? Well met, Traveler. What brings you to our outpost this day? Supply order. A supply order from Tiana to Austral Imperative. But why, pray tell, are you delivering this? Not one of our own men. That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> yep, I'll go with that one. Mistaken for a new recruit, you say? You really should make a point to clarify the situation next time. Well, I don't appreciate your service, of course, but Tiana has a reputation for running rog shot over anyone she can. While I am loath to impose upon you further, you'll be returning to the Imperative regardless. I was hoping it might trouble you to deliver the supplies Tiana has requested. I'm afraid the recent Sin Eater attacks have left us rather short end. It will take it will take just a short while to prepare the materials for delivery. I invite you to make yourself comfortable while you wait. While you wait. There's much in the way of entertainment here. It is a military outpost after all. Perhaps you can converse with the soldiers. It'd be sure to raise our spirits. You might glean some useful information out of them. What? Can we talk to people? Are you serious? I guess. Johnard. Hey, old friend. Say, have you ever wondered how Radiscus Round got his name? Wait, don't answer that. I've got a mind to tell you anyway. <laughs> Radiscus was a godsman in the early days, one of our best and bravest, as records tell. They say he gave his life holding off a horde of sin eaters just long enough for a group of refugees to flee to safety. The body of this hero was discovered right here at this tower. Never since then, it's been named in his honor. Makes a man proud to serve, I say. Pretty cool. Good on him. Hiya! Oof! Ludosai. Oh, there, stranger. You don't get many travelers in these parts. What do you think of the round? She's an odd one as far as forts go, wouldn't you say? Truth is, what you see today is actually the ruins of a larger structure built over a century ago. We took over what was left and converted it into a lookout tower of sorts to serve us in our struggle against the Sin Eaters. Seeing as how it sounds stands at a major fork in the high road, the location's rather ideal, you see. We can see threats coming in from moms away, and send out patrols to deal with them before they get too close. Of course, it gets kind of lonely all the way out here. What can you do? Shame. Oh. Dang it, of course, of course I went the wrong way. Are you up, or are you down? I swear if he's up. No, he's- Oh, he's right there, thank goodness. Varlier. Like earlier, but with a V. A traveler, huh? You and I want to pick this place for a leisurely excursion. Me? I can leave a hundred places I'd rather be. But since you were kind enough to grace us with your company, why don't I tell you a bit about this place? Radisco's round was built on the ruins of an old belfry. 
the more peaceful days, its clarion call would ring out from Lakeland to announce the time of day. Since the flood, however, the bell serves a purpose far more grim, to warn the residents of Lakeland of sin eater attacks. Oh, will that the day return when its ring again brings only joy, not fear. Good world building, I dig it, I dig it. <laughs> okay, give me the supplies and I'll go turn it in. Minus. Ah, there you are, friend. Do my men have anything of interest to say? In any event, hope your stay here was not overly tiresome. I am pleased to inform you that the materials have been packed up and are ready for delivery. For that, though, please allow me to compensate you for your service. Thank you! And you're not- don't have a quest for me, so no thank you. Someone else can deliver it. As you say, not my friggin' job, bruh. That is not my job. Mm, turn this one in. Found your, your bro. Did you come back? Ah, oh, there you are. I was hoping that you'd return so I could properly express my gratitude. I'll be happy to know, as I would, that my man has safely returned to the imperative. Those tomorrow can be stubborn brutes at times. Times like this make a man appreciate what loyal companions they truly are. I say this one's earned himself some extra feed for dinner today. Yush! Let's go! To the top. Get ready for the strike. Let's see. No, oh, no. Yep, and I need one more. Oh, it's at the very top, huh? Okay, okay, go, man. My bad. Hmm. Very, very top? Yep, very, very tippy top. Casper. We're going even further beyond! Whoa, we can see everything up here. Look at that, yo. Dang, brother! You're looking kinda cool. What is this guy? Is that a cannon or is that a telescope? Can't tell. Either way, it's pretty cool. Oh, Mysterium Scout. Wait, what's he have to say? The operation is ready to commence. Stand ready. During the operation, some of your gear will be clamored. Your attributes and abilities will be unaffected. Ah, okay, this is it. This to be the Operation Oracle of Light. That being said, I'm actually, I think I'll call it a stream there. I've been streaming for, or recording, I guess, for two hours, so. Thanks for anyone who decided to tune in. This is On the Dawn Trail, my Final Fantasy XIV MSQ guide and playthrough. We're going through Shadowbringers right now. And yeah, making our way. This, this part's pretty exciting, so I'm excited for the next time. To whoever you may be, good morning, good night, and everything in between. Until next time, see ya!